So this is a different project I've got open in Reaper. Um, again, I'm using the Tascam Model 24, but this is a different setup uh, because I'm, I'm using the master, uh, the master out into tracks one and two here. Uh, I've set up the Tascam in the same way as other videos where, I mean, you, I use it as an interface. So the, uh, the setting here is PC and that's what connects the Tascam to your computer and that gives you um, the 22 or 24 tracks uh, interface. The, the project I have at the moment are VSTs. Um, the channels are routed to the master send. Yeah, so the master is activated, whereas in my other video this was deleted. Yeah, so there was the master was not functioning. This time away, this time around, these tracks are all going through the master, and they they are being routed via USB to tracks one and two on the Tascam. That's by default. I mean, you can change that. You can change it to any of the tracks here, and you can do that by going to the I/O button, and then. Just, just changing whatever routing you want here. Yeah. But I'm going to keep it on one and two. So if I play um, a sound, yeah. Yeah. There's it. It, there, there it's going into channels one and two and it's important to try and get it at a good level there's a line up here that goes across the screen try and get it to that line or just above it and therefore you've got a good signal coming in now there's a few things you can do as the audio is coming in you can either record it yeah and therefore it's been recorded to the stereo bus stereo tracks or you can just process the sound with reverbs with the EQ and you can send that through the master uh, back to the uh, to the computer and to do that uh, you don't have to touch anything on the Tascam I mean it's all set up because of the USB connection it's basically an interface so the sound is already been processed and it goes back out again and what you can do is create tracks to receive it now you can because it's um, a stereo coming out you, you just need to um, there's a, uh, a a tick box here master send Unclick that, otherwise you'll have a loop and feedback. Yeah, so make 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 sure this is unclicked, and that's all you have to do really. You can arm it for record. So when you've un <coughs> unclicked and you've armed the track, next go up to here to the uh, to the. To, well in my case it's track 6 the one that's receiving from Tascam and then go to change it to input stereo and choose um, a channel like uh, that's 23 and 24 because the Tascam sends audio from 23 and 24 click on that and then channel 6 should be receiving um, the audio from the Tascam now. So if I press play, yeah, so the audio is playing from channel 1, it goes into uh, the master, gets sent to the Tascam, Tascam sends it to, you know, 23 and 24. And 
Um, if you also go here to record, record output, and if you choose uh, stereo or mono output, it'll record your audio here. Yeah, so you're converting MIDI, a MIDI signal. Uh, you're processing it in the task cam and you're sending it back to the computer to be recorded in a, 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 an audio signal and therefore you could work on it as an audio file. Um, I'll stop this for a minute. Now the other thing is that because I've got five instruments here uh, what I've done is that I record onto channel 6 then I take the audio and I just transfer it to another channel yeah so the audio sits here and I always keep this blank for recording so I don't have to arm or whatever tracks it's already there and all I do is just basically just switch the files over you know um, so I have I have for example one VST on here one VST on here, one V, you know, I create five channels for the five instruments. So five MIDI ch channels, five audio channels. Now, to s again, to speed this process up. Um, so if you highlight these tracks, uh, including the Tascam one. Yeah, and, and there's the four. Uh, channels for the audio you can save these as a template so if you right click and if you go up it's got save tracks as track template and if you click on that again you can see I've got some there you can name it and then you save it so the next time you want to insert multiple tracks uh, with um, effects on or VSTs, uh, compressors or whatever, you can just go up to insert and go down to the bottom from uh, track from template and then your template will be listed here. For example, uh, I've been using this template. Now it'll take a while because I've actually added effects onto the tracks but it'll load the five one two three four five six well I've, I've actually added a ozone on here and also a reverb send a bus so but there are my uh, tracks yeah this is just for the audio not for the VSTs uh, and then when you record your audio on here, you just pass it over to each of the the tracks. It saves a lot of time. And then I send these tracks to Ozone. And then after processing, I send Ozone and the, and the four tracks to the reverb. And I send all of these tracks uh, to the master. Uh, and then I render.